How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the forge. I'm sitting here making a, uh, a kitchen cleaver, a little meat cleaver, and I'm thinking why am I not videoing this? So in the forge, I've got some leaf spring. It looked like, uh, like this to begin with. Just some leaf spring I have on hand. And I've been asked to make a kitchen cleaver. As you can tell, I've already been hammering away at it. It's about an inch and three quarters originally. I need to get it, I'm trying to draw it out to two and a half to three inches, seeing what I get. It's pretty thick, over a quarter of an inch it looks like. Um, I didn't measure it, but hopefully I'll be able to get to that spot, but we'll see. I just decided I needed to video this and let y'all come along for the ride. I don't know what I was thinking. So, thanks for being here. So hopefully, the Hopefully the audio is okay. I've got my piece heating up. Just a second. And I've got another leaf spring here. I'm gonna kind of tell you what I'm doing. Sorry about the lighting, but I'm using the round end of my hammer as I hammer the piece, and that allows the metal to expand in all four spots. So when I go from this two, well, inch and three quarters about, Trying to get it to three is my goal. I got a pretty thick piece, so I think it's possible. But as I hammer it, I want it to all expand as quickly as possible, right? I'm not trying to draw it longer. You'll see my piece, but I just want it to go this way. So I'm using the round part of my hammer. And as I go, I'm trying to create the bevel as well. So I'll turn the piece a few degrees. I don't know, 15, 20 degrees, something like that. And then I'll also angle my hammer blows to match. So as I hammer the piece, hopefully I get that bevel along the way. So I'll show you right now what I'm doing. So you see I've already got quite a bit wider than the original, so I'm using the round side here. to tell on camera I'm sure but I've got a little bit of a bevel going I need to work a little harder at it because I just started doing that but I won't bore you too much here we'll kind of time-lapse this next part 